What is up YouTube? I just wanted to say that that freaking live stream was awesome. I mean, I was not expecting the power rack to perform that good. The packs, when they were draining, they all stayed like super, super close. And I wanted to thank everybody who did come out. Thank you for hanging out, bullshitting, asking questions. It was just a great time. I know there was a bunch of questions that I didn't even read or get to answer because there was a lot going on with me getting excited because the power rack was working. And of course, my cat was jumping on stuff and stealing my lifesavers. And you know, I'm running around to the back and checking temperatures and hitting switches and all that kind of stuff but holy crap it was a great time I hope you guys had a great time too one of the times when I had everything going I was drawing over 72 amps from the battery pack yeah so during that time I had the like that's like a 2000 watt heater which only puts out like 1500 and I had my heat gun on full blast also now it probably lasted for maybe 20 30 seconds on that so I'm going to go turn on the, um, I keep forgetting what it's called, but that's just because I'm excited this is all working. Uh, heat gun. I'm going to go uh, turn it up. All right. Chewing the nails. Here we go. Ah. All right. One, two, three. Oh, crap. It's on. It's, it's on. I'm pulling 71.68 amps. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, crap. We're doing it. We're really doing it. And the UPS says we are a 106.6% .6 load. Uh, battery voltage is 50.2. Shit, it's doing it. We're doing it. We're, we're, we're doing it. We're with you on this. Heating is the safest load for an inverter. Yes, we can show holy crap. Yeah, we're doing it. We're doing it. Fire extinguishers that probably won't do anything are right behind me. Where's my thermometer at? Oh crap. Um, 79. 80. 80, 80, 81 .5, 81 .5, 83, 84 .5, 83 .5, 85 .5, I think it's picking up some warmth from that, 84, 86.5, 86, 86. Point. Oh, there it goes. It shut off. And I was drawing over 2,800 watts. Keep in mind that it is a 2,700 watt UPS. So we were doing like 106.6% load on that thing, which is outstanding. That test couldn't have gone any better. I guess if I had more time, I would have just let it go to see how much we could have gotten out of it. Everything seemed to be nice and cool. I guess everything did get a little warm towards the end, but I mean, that's a lot of damn heat I was putting out. Yeah, and then, and then, and then the circuit breaker blew, but it was the AC circuit breaker, so it was no big deal. And it's only a 15 amp, so whatever. So then after that, I found a toaster oven that I had down here that I used for like heating up parts and and all that kind of stuff I plug that in and then we were right at like a hundred and two point five percent load on the UPS which was awesome I think that was right at 70 amps so it was perfect it couldn't have gone any better I was hoping the next day we would have Sun and I could have put out this video like a day or two ago but we didn't have Sun for three days Sunday Monday and Tuesday we pretty much had rain the entire time and I wanted to specifically go and record the batteries being recharged back up because I want to find out how many amps my solar panels are putting back into it. 
But I had to go to work and the sun did finally come out when I got home tonight. I went over there and checked it and guess what? It's full charged already. So yeah, what can you do with that? I guess what I have to do next is another load test. So we can walk over there real quick and check all the voltages to see if they're all back to roughly the same. And I guess we'll check the little mini voltmeters while we're over there too. All right, so sorry about the lighting. Again, it sucks, I know. But the little meter here, I haven't pulled any more power. I was going to continue the load test on like a lower draw to see how many kilowatts I could get out of it, but I did not end up doing that because I'll just do another test of that only. The meter right here that we used the other night during the test for the kilowatt hours that we did get out of it, it says 5598. So we pulled 5.5 kilowatts out of it in two hours and the batteries were, I think they were still like three quarter charged. So I could have pulled a lot more out of this. So that was awesome. All right, sorry for the shaky hands. I was just gonna show you all the meters real quick and then I'll go through and check them. Now I know what you're thinking, a couple of those look pretty low, but if you did not go to the live stream, which you can go do the replay right now if you want to, basically the meters, they're not keeping up with the battery voltage going up or down. So I did do some frequent checking during the load test and they did not reflect the actual battery voltage. So we're just gonna check them real quick to see how far off they are. And I'll just yell them out to you. First meter says 4.16. That says 4.15, so that's close. 4.15, 4.13, 4.12, 4.13, and the battery is 4.13. 4.17, 4.14, 4.15, 4.17, 4.17, 4.18, 4.19, 4.20, 4.21, 4.22, 4.23, 4.24. This one says 380, but we're actually 4.14, so that one's way off. This one says 4.16, and the battery is 4.13 slash 4. Meter says 3.75, battery is 4.15. Little meter says 4.17, we are 4.14, and it kind of goes back and forth to 5. All right, that last meter back there says 4.15 and we are 4.15 so that's great we have a spread of like what 20 4.13 was the lowest and 4.15 was the highest so i think that is awesome awesome and yeah that draws like uh what was it like 2.2 something amps i don't know I mean, that's that's what I have to work with. I know it's not efficient whatsoever. What are you gonna do? Basically, I'll just find out how long one of these can be, if you can use them for long term or not. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna waste a lot of electricity with it. What are you gonna do, right? Low budget. All right, so the DIY power rack performed flawlessly, I thought. I mean, I really couldn't have asked anymore. Well, I guess if I had a bigger inverter or another UPS hooked up, I could have gotten more from it, but I don't, so I didn't. So if you guys enjoyed yourself during that live stream, let me know in the comment section if you would like to see more live streams. I could possibly do this more often if you guys want. And if you guys did not join in on the live stream, maybe you should show up for the next one. I'm also going to try to do more like smaller updates. Yeah about what's going on here, what kind of tests I'm running, what other side videos I'm doing. I got some crazy shit going on right here. It's gonna take me a little bit of time to get the video editing done on this, but I think you guys are gonna love it. It's actually pretty awesome. I would give you a sneak peek, but it would ruin the entire video, so I'm not gonna do it. All right, well, if you guys would like to see more videos, let me know in the comment section, and I will see you on the next one. And, and, I mean, blech. and, uh, point, there was a, all right, yeah, uh, two, and, so, and, 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 for the, um, and, um, ha, huh, uh, so, yeah, so, it did awesome! I don't know. It's probably, it's probably time for bed, that's what it is.
4.04. I need to go to bed right now.